Could you be having a heart attack and not even know it? Doctors say yes, and that's exactly what happened to one Bakersfield woman. 23 ABC's Crystal Figueroa is in studio tonight with a doctor's word of warning. Crystal? Good evening, Erin. Heart disease is the number one killer in America. Every day, 2,200 people die from heart attacks or stroke. But as I found out from one survivor, the symptoms of a heart attack happen long before you ever land in a hospital. And I went to the cardiologist, and he's looking at me, he says, well, Miss Lesby, did you know you had a heart attack? And I'm just going, when? <laughs> and it was not, uh, must not have been what the a major heart attack, but it was uh, significant enough to where it showed on the paper. For weeks, Tawana Lesby thought she was gaining weight. So she hit the ground running. I was so puffy, and I'm saying, I'm not losing weight, help, help. Well, one morning I was walking with my kid, and um, I couldn't breathe. So I thought it was asthma. Little did she know she was suffering from stuttering, the symptoms that happen just before a heart attack strikes. It's not really chest pain. It's an uneasiness in their chest, uh, a little nausea, a little no vomiting, but it goes away. It comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. Stella Williams, the coordinator at the Chest Pain Center for San Joaquin Community Hospital, says women often ignore these symptoms. They think a quick nap or a few minutes on the couch will fix it, and Lesby fell into that trap. So I went home, then I went back again another time thinking I needed to rest. Women are totally different. Like the majority of people that come in for an absolute heart attack here are women with abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. We've even had one lady come in with just leg pain and she ended up having a major heart attack. When the shortness of breath and weight gain didn't go away, Lesby finally went to the doctor. I'm looking at him, examining my heart and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is true. I'm really laying here and they are checking me out. So at the end of that, they said you needed a triple, I needed a triple bypass. And I have to tell you, I was still going, <laughs> really? It didn't hit me. That's because Lesby didn't have the typical chest pain or tingling sensation down her left arm when she suffered her silent heart attack. Women present differently than men in a good number of times. They oftentimes present with fatigue, um, weakness, overall body weakness, difficulty sleeping, ins insomnia. Um, some of them have chest pain, but it might be right-sided. Dr. Todd Peterson, San Joaquin's medical director for the Chest Pain Center, says the problem gets worse for postmenopausal women. Estrogen is what we call cardioprotective. It helps, and it's not really known why or how, but it protects the vessels of the heart from accumulating plaque um, that clogs the arteries and causes a heart attack. And this is when I'm on the treadmill. Lesby went under the knife less than a year ago, and today, She's taking steps toward recovery. I love cardio. I run here. I don't like missing because it's part of the equipping I need to get healthy. And she changed her diet. Girl, I am afraid of grease. <laughs> I'm afraid, afraid of fat. I'm afraid of salt. But recovery doesn't have to be frightening if you have a change of heart. And we can have all kind of rationales as to why we don't do that. You know, I got kids. I got meetings. I got to go here. I got to do this. But I'm telling you, this was a wake-up call for me. Doctors say Lesby was one of the lucky ones who survived her heart attack. Today marks the end of Heart Health Month across the nation, but health experts hope that it will be the beginning of your road to better health.